Well, as you guys know, I've basically only been doing Be A Pro recently, and we're going to change that up today. I'm going to be going back to what I used to do an awful lot, and I'm going to be doing a fantasy draft. I don't really know what team to pick, so I am just going to randomize. There it is. We get the jerks. I'll take it. We're going to start pretty basic. I'm going to do a two-way only draft for this one, so two-way forwards and two-way defensemen only, and then we obviously just get to pick whatever we want for goalie. I believe this is my first fantasy draft on NHL 21, if I am not mistaken. This even looks kind of weird. I don't think I've ever witnessed the two, two lines for a team name. I don't know what it is, but I feel like as soon as I put these aligners in, I cannot pronounce anything. Pick 23 is very not ideal, but we will probably still have some good players left over for us. So let's see who there might be. Bergeron would be a good one right off the bat. He's got to be a two-way, right? Yeah. So we've also got Petrangelo as a two-way defender. Yossi, we can't take Stamkos. Could take Kopitar. I know Mitch is going to be very upset with me, but I'm actually going to take Petrangelo here. I am sorry. So the benefit, the benefit is that our next pick is pretty close. And there it is. We actually have Bergeron. But is Tavares also a two-way? Oh, no, wait, he's a sniper. You know what? I wouldn't even do that anyway. I would, I'm going to take Bergeron regardless. I just, I just want to scare you, Mitch. If he even ends up watching this. I know I'll get a text if, if he is. But anyway, let's see what we've got up next. So, so far, we've got a center and one defenseman. What do we got for goaltenders left? I think goalie is going to be very important for us. I am not really sure which one I want to take. I actually kind of want to take Bishop, but hmm, mostly because of the salary cap. And you guys know that I don't really like to go over the salary cap where I can, but I'll take Tuka. There we go. We got two Bruins players in the first three picks. Shea Weber is a two-way defenseman. He's also 88 overall. He's up there in age, but again, we're doing one season. So that really does not matter to me. Let's go. We need to find a winger or two for our centerman there. Kane's probably a, oh, I was going to say a sniper, but no, he's a power forward. Okay, but Perron is a two-way forward. I guess we'll take Perron. Ooh, Pavelski as a second line centerman. I'm kind of down. Yeah, I think I'm going to take, I'm going to take Joe. I mean, you guys would know better than me. If I ever had a successful, there it is right there. Timothy Jimothy just presented himself in this draft. And he is coming to our team. But I feel like I never really have a whole lot of success with two-way drafts. Maybe I have and I'm insane or just don't remember one of the two. But yeah, I don't really recall ever having too much success with these. I am going to take Keith. Holy crap, at this rate, it's pretty much like the Elder draft. Not Edler. Very close. Not the Edler draft. The Elder. Kyle Palmieri is also a two-way forward. And he is now going to be a two-way forward for the Carolina Hurricanes. Part of me wants to take Tyler Myers, but 6,083, or I could do 6,084. You know what I'm saying? Myers might actually be the better get. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to take Edler, actually, just because his name is very close to Elder. Wow, our cap space is already gone, so that's not going to happen. I guess I could try taking slight... Pay cuts here or players that have less salary. Brian Rust, prime example. Miko Koivu, 1.5 million. You simply cannot go wrong. McNabb, also a discount here, 2.5 million. We are making our best effort here to try and stay above the cap, okay? I'm doing everything I can. Henrik Lundqvist for 1.5 milli? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, get over here. The king is going to... Raleigh, North Carolina, I think that's... Do they play there? Wow, I am just now realizing we have one left winger. Kovalchuk's a two-way, right? Gotta be. Definitely not a sniper. Blake Coleman is officially going to be our fourth-line centerman. Uh, 1.8 million. I don't know when we are planning to get wingers, but hopefully soon. Yoel Armia is a right winger. We already have three of those. We have one left winger, but it's just not looking good in the left winger department, you know? A little low on that. You know what? We're going to be over the cap anyway. I don't care at this point. Tanev, welcome to the team. I never really want to stay under the cap. I just want to keep it kind of close, so I can't just pick whoever the heck I want. I guess in a way it adds another level of difficulty. Martinuk, 79 overall, left winger. Yeah, why? Mm? What about McGinn? Is McGinn a two-way? Let's take McGinn. So all we need now is one left winger and one 
defenseman. So, let's see what we've got back here. There it is, Jackie boy. 1.1 million. 79 overall. We are going to be over the cap, like I said, but we're actually going to be a lot closer than I thought we were going to be initially. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take, I think, yeah, let's take Jimmy VC with the last pick here. That is our team. Let's go put these lines together and then make a prediction to see how well they're going to do. I don't know what it is, but I just do not have faith in these two-way teams ever. I really don't have faith now. I don't know why I went to view lines. I'm used to doing career sims, clearly. Well, here's... Let's just look at Anaheim's lines. There you go. All right, there's their offense. Defense, pretty good top four. And in net, they got Katahat and Hudobin. They're going to be good. I messed around with the lines a little bit to try and get some chemistry, but I really can't get a whole lot, actually, which is very upsetting. Can you do best lines and then... No, you cannot. Great. I have done that a million times before and completely forgot how it worked. Okay, well, that got plus one of the first line, so that's going to be our first line. Our second line's pretty good. Third line and fourth line, not bad. On defense, we got Weber and Petrangelo. I think I did this to get that plus three. So Edler and McNabb will be playing Keith Stone, Petrangelo, Weber. And then in net, we got Tuca and Hank. So, I don't really think we're going to make the playoffs, honestly. Let's just say Brian Rust is going to get the most points with 52. And we get... 37 wins and obviously with that we're not gonna make the playoffs okay we're actually coming out of the gate here a little spicier than i thought we would but i do not expect that to last there might be a lot of viewers here that are new from nhl 21 because i know the goalie be a pro kind of really took off there so yeah if you don't know you can go watch my old fantasy drafts on the older games but i am definitely known to have quite bad luck when it comes to simulations. I looked away from the screen for one second. I swear we were 14, six and two, and now we're 15, 11 and two. Well, I looked away again, this time it turned out not bad. I just want to double check to make sure I'm not cheating somehow because I feel like, oh my goodness, Colin Wilson was not a guy we trapped in. He's gotta go. Well then, yep, there it is. McGinn, welcome. That's unfortunate. Sorry guys, it's been a long time since I did one of these fantasy draft videos, so. I am a little rusty, as you can tell, but I was the only one and he was a third liner, so probably wasn't making that much of a difference. You know what? We got a two-game winning streak right there against the Islanders and the Tampa Bay Lightning as soon as we got rid of them, so I think the game knew. Jonathan Taves, Derek Broussard, and a third for a first and a fourth. For some reason, that's the only trade that popped up. That's the only one. We actually did it. We actually made the playoffs with a two-way team. I'm really happy right now. So our record was 46, 28, and 8. Where did we finish in the Metro? Oh, we were third with 100 points. Look at that. We were actually eighth in the entire league. This is one of the more successful fantasy drafts I've ever had. Well, this is what the playoff tree looks like to get started. So let's get started. How will round one go against the Washington Capitals? We are down to nothing. I think we're done. Yeah, we, we are certainly done. Nice little sweep. Love to see it. Now that, right there, is another Man of the Writ Fantasy Draft Classic. And the Tampa Bay Lightning are your Stanley Cup champions. Bergeron had the most points with 76. Petrangelo at 72, so they pulled their weight. Our goalie stats are, well, you know what? Tuca, he had a good record, 36, 17, and 7, but a 907 save percentage and 284. You know what? I guess that's not too bad. Henrik Lundqvist, though, he struggled. Well, here are the awards. So Tampa Bay, yep, the Stanley Cup champions. Jack Eichel. Uh, the, it's so weird seeing these guys. Lafreniere with the Calder on the San Jose Sharks. And Flurry made his return to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Okay. Oh, right. That's why they won the Stanley Cup. So they got Connor McDavid, 96 overall. They got Besser, 89 overall. Jones, 88. Timo, 87. Wow, they just have a really good team, it looks like. A lot of depth here as well. And then who do they have in net? They had Semyon Varlamov, 85, and then Casey DeSmith, 83. Oh, Nashville with the massive draft lottery. Who's hanging up the boots this year? We've got no one. Really? I'm, I am so confused. I really just wanted to come here to see if they end up getting anything. Ooh, they got Rotti, a high elite player. And then we've got Tara Tukin, medium elite, 78 overall. 
yeah, I guess, is there going to be a 75 overall medium elite grinder? Love to see it. I feel like there's got to be some created players even for the year one draft. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave draft ideas down there. Be sure to like each other's comments so I know what draft idea you guys want to see. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the comeback of this series. And I will be seeing you in the next video.